IP service for a German company. A German coal chemical gasifier manufacturer plans to export its fluidized bed gasifier technology with obvious energy saving and emission reduction effect to China and carry out cooperation with the Chinese enterprise. In the preliminary evaluation stage of the project, one, the service agency entrusted by the German side made a detailed analysis of China's regulations on the administration of technology import and export, the contract law, the implementation regulations of the law on Sino-Foreign Joint Ventures and other laws and regulations, and completed legal, especially intellectual property rights compliance processing. 2. Systematically investigate the operation, credit, litigation-related R&D and IP of the partners. 3. Sort out its own IPR. Clarify its own background IPR, including patents and trade secrets, and do applications for technologies that can still apply for Chinese patents. 4. Entrust the service agency to issue the FTO Risk Investigation Report, which is used to clarify to the Chinese partners that the German technology does not infringe the rights of the third party, so as to enhance the bargaining power and initiative of the negotiation. After the project was launched, the German side regularly reviewed the R&D status and applied for patents on the R&D results participated by the German side. As a summary upon transferring technology to or investing in China, the following patent-related issues need to be noted. Firstly, it is necessary to understand the relevant provisions of IP in technology import and export, technology transfer, and technical cooperation in advance. Secondly, to try to avoid patent dispute. Investigation of patent infringement risks through FDO and other means. Identify ownership risks through due diligence, etc. Thirdly, investigate and evaluate the local partners thoroughly before initiating cooperation and establish daily contact with legal services. Lastly, according to the content and characteristics of the technology, the appropriate protection forms such as patent and trade should be selected, the content and ownership of background IPR should be clarified, and the ownership and income distribution of subsequent IPR shall be agreed.